welcome back to the Learn to Code podcast. I am streaming this uh, podcast live on Green Room. That's a Spotify Green Room. You can find me there. Uh, look for me. I am called Jorge Escobar there. Um, I am posting these episodes um, on Twitter. So if you are following me on Twitter, that will be Jorge Escobar at Twitter. And let's begin. Today's episode is going to be what software skills pay more money. Well, this is a um, uh, the this is an answer to a question I got into my YouTube channel, asking me for um, what um, are the more demanded software skills or programming languages that allow me to get a job faster. You know, um, the market is just that: is uh, people taking decisions with their money. So uh, in the previous episode, I gave up a list of the most demanded software development skills. Uh, but that not necessarily reflects, um, and ne if you get the, the most demanded one, that not necessarily means that you are going to get paid more. You know, being the most demanded is not necessarily the best pay uh, activity. If you are learning and you are uh, struggling to decide what to learn and you don't want to, you, if you want to optimize your effort, and you want to find out what the best skill is in order to get paid more, uh, well, I'm, going, I'm just going to say, to say it right now. Number one is Scala. Scala is the number one better pay uh, program, uh, better pay job ever. At least right now, uh, July, is July? What, what month are we? Oh, come on. Uh, June 2021, Scala is the best pay um, software skill ever, at least for today, you know. Um, anyway, number one, Scala. Number two is Golang. Let's say that if you want to work as a cloud developer on the Google Cloud platform, learning Go is the way to go because, <laughs> uh, pun intended, I guess. Uh, Learning Golang is going to be very important for you and it's going to get you a lot of money. One, because there are not many developers and they and Google is pushing uh, its position as the number three most, uh, most used cloud platform, being number two, Microsoft Azure and number one, AWS with Amazon, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, the, the, the number two is Go. Number three, Perl. Uh, many young people don't even know what Perl is. Basically, it's a scripting language from from the ancient times. And uh, legend says that only the true <laughs> the true scribes of Perl are still alive today. <laughs> you know. Anyway, it's a it's a very fun experience learning Perl. Very difficult to do, and there is a lot of legacy code running on that. So. Uh, you want money, then you want to learn Perl too. Uh, Objective C, the same. There is a lot of legacy code lying around, especially for banking apps. Eh? Wink, wink. Uh, uh, and those apps are being developed, and they have their base code on Objective C. Um, in the in an ideal world, when everybody was introduced to the Swift uh, programming language. The purpose of Swift was to become a replacement for Objective-C. What actually happened is that uh, these large, this large code bases were developed on Objective-C, and the only way those uh, software developers move into Swift if, if they get a deadline. Let's say uh, Objective-C is not going to be able to compile after this date, and that never happened. So. Uh, with very large, with new projects, it's easy to start. Uh, with new projects, it's really easy to just start um, uh, with the new programming language, in this case, Swift. Uh, but the truth is that uh, not many people decided to, m to migrate from Objective-C into Swift. Uh, and I lived through that anyway. Oh, there is, I think there is somebody in the room. No, he left. Oh, anyway. Uh, second thing, uh, let's say number five. Number five is Ruby. 
Ruby uh, is being used for Ruby on Rails. Not many people learn Ruby just because of Ruby themselves. Uh, they learn Ruby because they want to work with Ruby on Rails. And I believe there are any, many other frameworks that I don't know of, but the one I know is uh, on Rails. It's Rails, and that's basically it. Uh, you want money? Um, some websites are going to be run on Ruby, so you can find a job there, and it's very well paid. Uh, next, Kotlin number six. For obvious reasons, developing Android apps is, is pretty hot right now, you know? You want to get your money, uh, you can start looking in Kotlin. Number seven, C. Well, that's more uh, for people that believe that software development is just apps and websites. This is going to come as a shocker, but basically C is being used a lot today. Why? To write drivers uh, for printers, for example. You want to write a driver for a printer, you're more likely going to be using C. If you are working with Internet of Things, that is uh, a small machines that not necessarily are computers to be used by somebody else directly. Let's say, you know what, uh, a drone, the code that a, uh, a drone is, co is running on is not necessarily going to be um, running on something heavy, heavyweight like Java, for example. You may like to use uh, C. Why? Because it's fast and because it's the closest thing you are going to get in a high level programming language to the actual hardware. I am yet to see, and I'm very old, I'm 40 years old, um, and I'm yet to see another programming language after all this time that gets close, close enough or, or even close to see in the respects of uh, getting close to the hardware itself. Anyway, uh, number eight, Swift. Obviously, developing iOS apps in the new hot programming language is going to be well paid. Not so much money is going to be seen here compared to Objective C. However, that's today, and I would doubt that Objective C is going to remain there for long. Why? Because time passes and the advantages of using the new programming language to develop iOS apps is going to be um, very evident really soon. Anyway, uh, what uh, Swift, number nine, Bash Shell, PowerShell, you know, uh, scripting, uh, making backups of your files or your databases is going to be primordial. Um, and basically automating common repeatable tasks is always welcome, you know? Uh, Java, number 10, Java. Java has a large, and, and we are getting here into the middle already. Uh, we're, we are in the mid-range, <laughs> uh, and we start with Java, basically. There, are, uh, there is a lot of demand for Java jobs, but the pay is mediocre at best. Uh, the same goes for Python, very demanded, is the most demanded. Uh, however, uh, the pay cut is mediocre. Uh, TypeScript, the same thing. They are in the same bucket. Mediocre pay. TypeScript, the same thing. Developing websites, backend. Uh, doesn't matter. The pay is mediocre. They are very... Um, those developers are in, in the highest demand ever. But they don't pay very well. It's mediocre at best. Um, and now we get into the realm of the less pay money for. <laughs> uh, we start with C++. Thank you, Unity and uh, I mean uh, Unreal Engine developers. Uh, basically, the video game industry has uh, relegated uh, a very bad pay cut for C++ developers. Uh, uh, R is number number 14, R. That's an statistical programming language, basically for researchers. Uh, and it's very badly paid because um, it's oriented for research and development and statistics. So it's a very niche, very niche implementation for a programming language to do. So I would say that it's more like um, it's bad. It's very badly paid because uh, not many people do it, and those who do it are not really required to do so anyway. Uh, anyhow. 
Number 15, C Sharp. Although C Sharp has seen some growth in the past, the, the truth is that uh, uh, it's very badly paid. And you don't get too much money from C Sharp development. You will be better uh, doing something in Scala anyway. Uh, number 16 seems to be SQL. A lot. I do work as an SQL developer right now. The pay cut is really bad. <laughs> But uh, I am allowed to do that remote and I don't have to be and slave to my terminal all day. I can just uh, publish some updates, get my money and uh, do whatever I want, like recording a podcast. <laughs> uh, number 17, JavaScript. Uh, and we are finishing the list of the least pay uh, for programming languages. JavaScript is number 17. Uh, one of the worst pay uh, jobs is JavaScript, you know. Number 18, HTML and CSS. Uh, you are not getting a lot of money for doing that. Uh, or, or may I say, for doing that alone. That's the key, you know. Uh, you are not going to see a lot of money if you are planning to earn your living with just HTML and CSS. The reason is because um, your development would be considered incomplete today. Maybe in the early 2000s when you don't really need anything else but um, a really cute website and that's it. Uh, maybe HTML and CSS will be enough, not today. It's basically, uh, it shares the fate as databases. Um, you know, it's not expected for me to earn a living just doing databases or HTML and CSS. Uh, it's just a part of the toolkit. It's not the toolkit itself. Number 19 is PHP. Oh my God, who works with PHP? It's a, it's a real torture. And maybe I am biased because of my inability to read somebody else's code in PHP and do something useful with it. Basically, PHP developers became a cog in the machine. Uh, if you don't have the original developer working on the project, you are pretty much doomed. Uh, and last place on words, uh, pay, Programming languages is number 20, BBA, that's Visual Basic. And uh, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that's the that's the last, that's the last, uh, the, the, the worst pay uh, programming language is going to be BBA. Nobody cares, uh, nobody will. Well, if you do that, you're probably just, um, uh, you just got out of college, you know, and they teach you programming with BBA and you're just stuck there because you are afraid to learn something else. Uh, just get on with it, learn something else and go on with your life. Well, uh, just a quick review of the entire list. Number one, the best pay job you're going to find is going to be a Scala, number one. Number two, Go. Number three, Bear. Number four, Objective C. Number five, Ruby. Number six, uh, and this is the, uh, well, that's how the, the five, mo the better paid jobs is number one, Scala, Go, Perl, Objective C, and Ruby. In the mediocre, in the medium to mediocre at best range, we have uh, Kotlin, C, uh, Swift, Bash, Shell, and PowerShell, uh, Java, um, Python, and TypeScript. And now on the very bottom of the barrel, the le the basically the bottom feeder programming language for in, in the in the well in the pay cut, you know, you are not getting pay pay very well if you're doing those are D R, C sharp, SQL, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP, and BBA. Well, that's the entire list. Uh, thank you for coming in and see you next time.